Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Yasser Asprilla. Before we get started of course make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this so you get lots more Wonder Kids. Now as I said Yasser Asprilla, uh, a Colombian 17 year old, winger, attacking midfielder type, currently at the likes of Envigado FC but will be moving to Watford. I believe he has officially moved now in real life. Um, but there you go. He is, he looks, looks okay. Nothing spectacular. Made two appearances for the first team of the club he was at. Uh, let's take a look at his attributes quickly before we jump ahead. So he starts out at a current ability of 90. That potential though of 170 is absolutely incredible. Um, could be an absolute world beater for Watford and for whatever club follows as well. So it'll be interesting to see. We'll jump ahead, take a look how he gets on. And how he progresses. And here we are then, Yasser Asprilla. He is at Manchester United of all teams. So a big, big move by the looks of it. Now we're 10 years on. He's on £150,000 a week. So it'll be interesting to see how close to that 170 potential he managed to reach in the end. Um, 34 caps and 9 goals for the Colombian first team. So very, very good there as well. Uh, let's take a look at the history though. What are the moves like? So obviously he made that 3.9 million move to Watford in January as we knew would happen. Um, didn't play much for the first few years, but then started to get into the first team and start to put his mark down. Um, and in his last two seasons at Watford, he was very, very good. Getting six goals and eight assists in the first one, then 11 and four in the second. Uh, that led to the 50 seven million pound move to man united where again it was a i'd say slow start he, he performed very well in his few games he played and same in the second season but the last season he's just played 21 get appearances scoring four goals in those it shows he's getting more and more into the first team side uh milestones though let's take a look competitions um doesn't look it, it doesn't look like he won anything with Watford necessarily uh was under 23 division three champions I guess uh made his debut at 22 scoring on his debut as well um he did end up getting relegated with Watford but the move to Man United led to him getting the community shield uh the premier division uh, again, the Premier Division there as well, along with another Community Shield. Uh, and again, a Premier Division. Looks like they've won it a few times, Man United. Uh, and then a runner-up runner in the FA Cup as well. Uh, personal awards, I'm sure there'll be plenty of Team of the Weeks. There are. Uh, and a few best 11s for the likes of Columbia. He was Supporters Player of the Year as well for Watford, which is a very, very good thing to see. Um, otherwise, of course, in the best 11s and Team of the Weeks. So a decent looking player. Some nice physical stats as well. Um, and technicals aren't too bad at all. Uh, let's take a look at his attributes. So before we go, uh, 148 was his current ability. Um, 27 years old, so maybe a little bit of growth, but unlikely to grow much more. But with the potential 170, that's a very, very good kind of increase from the around 90 that we saw before. So a big jump, but with even more potential available, certainly a player I think is worth keeping an eye out for, especially if you are managing Watford, um, one to be excited about coming in. But there you go. We will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.